the first coffee in three days now. Mm. Cheers. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh my god, this is this is amazing. Ah, oh, I feel like my life is back to me. <laughs> oh. The past three days we tried a juicing cleanse for the first time together and we are here to share with you what our experience was like. We got two different packages from Nectar Juice here in Arizona. Now, each of these packages has 18 drinks in it. 18 for me, 18 for Habiba. And over the three days, we're each gonna drink six drinks a day. Now, these drinks are meant to be sp or drank in a specific order mm -hmm. and they're meant to be drank every two hours apart or so. Now, right. the rules are simple though. You're allowed to have water, but you're not allowed to have food. No food at all. It was pretty interesting, and here is a recap of how that went. This is breakfast for this morning. It's the first drink of the detox, and this one is named Celery Detox. It's made out of celery, lemon, and mint. It is 45 calories, and I started drinking around 9 a.m., and I've been sipping on it for the past few minutes, so I really just have a little bit more to go. So I'm gonna have to finish that, and I will see you when I try my next drink. I just finished my first drink, and it's already 11 a.m., and it's time for the second one. I'm not feeling hungry, but around this time, I'm usually used to grabbing a cup of coffee. Uh, I can't have coffee today. It would have been nice to be able to grab some tea just to kind of keep me warm and drink something for fun. So between the juices, I can really just drink water and obviously no food. Um, so I'm excited to try the second drink because the first one was not that glamorous. So the second drink, we have Skinny Lemonade. Skinny Lemonade has got some orange, grapefruit, lemon, agave nectar, turmeric, and black pepper. That sounds... Delicious actually and it's got 190 calories versus the 45 calories for the first drink So I'm very excited for this one. I think this one's gonna be good drink number two. Cheers Ooh, I can taste the turmeric definitely a better upgrade from drink number one Drink number two is done. It's time for drink number three healing greens gut healing it's got apple cucumber lemon parsley spinach ginger and prebiotics and this one 190 calories just like drink number two i could do this this is not bad it's got uh, yeah the parsley is a little bit too strong parsley and ginger together they make it a little strong but i don't mind it definitely better than the first drink i think out of these three drinks so far the least favorite is celery detox and it sucks because this is the first drink for the day Ugh. i'm gonna go finish this up and i will see you in about two hours drink number four <laughs> i'm starting to feel a little bit hungry maybe just because it's you know towards the end of the work day but i'm really looking forward to the last drink oh because the last drink it looks like it's thick and it's got a lot of calories but this one 45 calories this is drink number four and it's called skinny lemonade magic butterfly it's got butterfly pea flower i don't even know what that is and it's got lemon agave nectar and probiotics hey google what is butterfly pea flower? According to Wikipedia, butterfly pea flower tea, commonly known as blue tea, is a caffeine-free herbal tea, or tisane, beverage made from a decoction or infusion of the flower petals or even whole flower of the Clitoria ternity plant. Clitoria ternity is also known as butterfly pea, blue pea, aprahita, cordophon pea, blue tea flowers or Asian pigeon wings. Hmm, that probably explains the coloring maybe, but I don't know. Drink number four for the day. Cheers. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know, like the taste is familiar, but I don't know what it tastes like. Oh my goodness. I can taste strong lemon for sure, but other than that, it's, it's not very sweet. It's more sour and tingly than sweet. Hmm. Lemonade-like, yeah. 
Wish me good luck for the next two hours because it's starting to get a little bit hard. But I'm very excited because I have only two drinks left for the day and it's already 3 p.m. But the last drink is very thick and it's got the most calories out of all of these drinks. So I'm really, really excited for that. And I think if it gets hard for me, I'm probably gonna have a sip or two from the last drink. But I will try to, to stick to their schedule and recommendation. But if it gets hard, I'm probably gonna try the last one. All right, I will see you guys in two hours. Hello again. I have to tell you, things are getting real. The last drink is not a favorite because it made my mouth so dry and I couldn't stop drinking water. So you can imagine by way of drinking so much liquid throughout the day, you will have to use the restroom a lot. So it's been going back and forth, back and forth between my office and the restroom the whole day, pretty much. Um, it's 5 p.m. right now, so it's time for drink number five. And let's see, drink number five. Classic Greens Detoxifying Blend. And it's got kale, cucumber, pineapple, orange, spinach, and cilantro. That sounds exciting, just orange and pineapple, that's great. And calories, it's got 140 calories. So, yep. I'm starting to feel hungry and I don't know, I'm gonna give this a try. The last drink is the one that I'm excited for the most. This is tasty actually. Mmm. I like it. Uh, the cilantro is strong, but uh, it's got a good amount of sweetness by way of having orange and pineapple and cucumber, which I love. I love all of the three. Kale and spinach, 50-50, uh, but this is tasty. So I'm going to keep this close to me and I'm gonna sip on it for the next two hours or so. And I will see you for the last drink. We were just having a fight. Like we, I almost mixed my drink with Alex's drink and, and I'm like, no, I didn't finish my drink. I want my drink. That's all the food that I can have. Give me my drink. Anyway, so drink number five is not done yet. I'm going to keep some for later today, but it's time for the last drink of the day. It's already 7 p.m. and I know that this one is thicker. This one's got a lot of protein. I started getting some headaches a bit earlier and I feel like all I want to do is just to lay on the couch and just do nothing really. Um, so I'm excited to have a sip of this one. Hopefully it's gonna give me some energy. So this one is superfood protein, vanilla spice, and it's got dates. I love dates. It's got almond milk, cinnamon, vanilla, and nutmeg. Oh my God, this, this, I think this is gonna be great. And it's got 430 calories, which is higher than all of the drinks that we had earlier. So let's give it a try. Here we go. Oh, it's like a cookie in the form of a drink. It, it almost looked like they crushed up Oreos. I was wishing in my head. Oh, it's like, it's not a really a milkshake, but like a liquidy milkshake type, right. type of texture. Oh my God, this is, this is amazing. Mm. Oh, I feel like my life is back to me. <laughs> but I have to be careful because I'm gonna probably still be up until 10 or 11, and I don't wanna get to a point where I'm really starving. So I'm gonna leave some of this bad boy here, which I don't mind, but this is, this is the treasure. Let's talk about why we chose to do this cleanse. Right, now for me, I just wanted to make sure that I could exercise the willpower to choose or to not choose. I always like that sense of challenge. Mm -hmm. I also wanted to understand how much food I really need per day so I could try to understand how much I might be eating that was unnecessary, as well as it is a cleanse. So I did want to just see a little bit of the health change, clean out my body a little bit and feel a little bit less bloated. And we see it as a way to kind of hit reset, especially when you spend a long period of time not being on a healthy diet and give some time for your body and your digestive system to kind of take it easy and then start adopting healthier habits. I don't really see it as a way to lose weight. You will expect to lose some weight from this, but it's just not a solution for, for weight loss. But it was definitely a motivation for us, it's knowing that we might be dropping some pounds. Sure, it's an inevitable byproduct of the challenge, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's the primary goal. Mm -hmm. I would say this diet is 
not sustainable forever. It probably is really if you talk to the right people, but for a healthy person, it's not that big of an ask, but for the regular person, it could be psychologically challenging. Absolutely. Uh, especially with the diet that people may be accustomed to today. And at the same time, it can be a bit uncomfortable to mm -hmm. some people as well. Hello again, and welcome to day two of this cleanse. Before I talk about day two, I want to give you a recap of yesterday. Overall, I did well and I felt good. I finished all of my drinks, but towards the end of the day is when I started having more cravings. I started having some headaches and I just felt so weak. Uh, a few hours before I went to bed, I started my period and that explains all of the headaches and the fatigue. So it wasn't just coming from, from not eating the whole day. Um, I started getting a little bit worried because I know with my period, I, it's the time of the month where I should eat well and with taking painkillers and pills, I should not be taking them on an empty stomach. So I started feeling a little bit worried, and, but I wanted to follow through with the, with the cleanse or with the challenge. Um, so I just went to bed pretty much and then today I woke up a little bit tired, so that's why I wasn't filming earlier in the day. I think right now it's about 3 p.m. Uh, but just to recap of day two, I started with drink number one, the celery detox, and it's my least favorite, so I didn't even finish the whole thing. And from then, two hours later, I went for skinny lemonade with turmeric flavor, this is good. And then right now, I'm working my way through this one, drink number three, the healing greens. I like this one, I'm just taking it a little bit slow. Uh, surprisingly, I'm not feeling hungry this morning at all. I've been going back and forth to the bathroom, uh, just peeing a lot, and I can see that it's clear, it's clean, and it feels like the juice is doing its work when it comes to cleaning my digestive system, I'm hoping. I went for number two earlier in the day, and it felt good, so everything is feeling pretty normal. Uh, so far. So I'm gonna work my way through number three and I think I should be good to even start drink number four Which I will do in a little bit here and I will see you later on with another update Welcome to the third and last day of this cleanse. I am so excited. I can't wait to have some solid food. I didn't do a lot of filming yesterday because I was feeling a bit exhausted, but I followed through. I didn't eat any food. I finished all of the drinks. However, it was a little bit hard for me to keep on drinking. I kind of had to force myself to finish all of the drinks. Like when I got to drink number three, I only had half of it and then I was just, you know, dragging it for a bit until the end of the night. And I went to bed before even completing half of the last drink, which is my favorite drink. So um, I was just not feeling hungry and I was, I don't know, like, complete loss of appetite where I didn't even feel the need of drinking anymore. Uh, but I went to bed and for this morning, I had two or three sips of the drink from the day before, which was really nice. It's nice to start the day with a drink that's pleasant. But for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and have my first drink. This is the worst, I promise you. This is the least favorite, celery detox. So let's do that together. Cheers to the last day of this cleanse. Oh, <laughs> I certainly don't like this one. So I'm gonna work my way through this one. Uh, I do have, like usual, it's the same six drinks for the day. I have two more drinks left for the third day, which is the last day, and I am so excited. I started to feel a little bit hungry, and I have to be honest with you, I can't stop thinking about what I'm having tomorrow for breakfast. I miss breakfast food the most, and I told Alex, I don't care if my favorite restaurant opens at 4 or 5 or 6 a.m., I'm gonna wake up as early as I can, and I'm gonna go in there. Um, I'm just feeling tired of drinking all of these drinks, especially the ones that are a little bit acidic. I feel like it's been a little too much for my stomach, but 
Drink number five is actually not the worst, so I'm gonna try to make my way through this and then drink number six. You guys know that this one is my favorite, the superfood protein. It's heavy, it's thick, it's sweet, it's got 430 calories, and I'm so excited to be wrapping up the day with this fabulous drink. I never felt this excited for breakfast. I've been waiting for this moment so long. <laughs> yeah, we're at the tail end of the challenge now, and uh, we're really looking forward to our first solid meal. Let's go. This is the first coffee in three days now. Mm. Cheers. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. You wanna see mine? You got the eggs Benedict <laughs> up there too. I wanted eggs today. Eggs. So when we finished the, this cleanse or challenge, uh, there was definitely a drop in weight. Uh, for me, I lost five pounds in total over the course of three days. Yeah, I think I was about the same, uh, maybe a little bit less, maybe like four for me, but four or five. On an average, let's say four to five pounds when it comes to weight loss. Uh, but we want to share with you some of the takeaways if it's something that you are looking into, if you want to start a, a juice cleanse. I will say that I was surprised. Uh, I particularly didn't get very hungry every day. I was very content going through the drinks. I, my stomach wasn't rumbling very often and I felt satisfied by the end of the day. I never felt like I was hurting or just making it to the next day. Now. The drinks seem to go back and forth between like a sweeter sort of like acidic mm -hmm. drink and then a more vegetable heavy drink. And sometimes if you didn't prefer one, but you knew that it was like your only option, it was a little bit of a, of a mental hurdle. But I got past those pretty quick. I'll think, or I'll say that uh, I think I handled it pretty well. Yeah. I'd be happy to do it again. Absolutely. And uh, I'd probably be happier to do it for, for longer as well. What about yeah. you? I think it, was, it, it wasn't It was very challenging. I felt like I was giving my body enough nutrients. Um, there were some drinks like the celery juice. It just got a little bit, oh, I, I wasn't looking forward to celery juice being the first drink of the day. And I was so excited for the last drink of the day. But I think mentally there were some points where I just couldn't stop thinking about food. Um, I, I can see that it might be challenging for someone who's doing this for, for the first time, like they never tried it before. But also I know for the two of us, we had uh, fasted in the past for, for Ramadan. So we know what it's like to deprive your body for, from food and from uh, liquids for a long period of time. But for someone who's never experienced any type of fasting of this sort, it might be a little bit challenging. Sure, and some of those other fasts like Ramadan or some other time-restricted eating, um, typically result in you not eating for a period of time, knowing that at the end of the day, there's that meal, there's that sweet, <laughs> sweet nectar at the, well, nectar, <laughs> at the end of the, the rainbow. Uh, here though, there's nothing. You just drink those drinks. And yes, the earlier drinks are about 90 calories to 200 calories. And the last drink of the day is like a heavy 460 or something like yeah. that. Um, definitely a little thicker and it's something to be looked forward to. But um, I, I'd never really, I don't think I had any problem trying to, to get up in the morning and have the celery one. Mm. It is weird. Weird. It's really weird to have a celery juice in the morning. <laughs> but I equated it to like having ginger before having sushi or like cleansing your palate sure. in many ways. I, I saw what they were doing. So I just... Yeah. Um, the other interesting thing is that you will be using the bathroom quite a lot. I mean, it's a lot of liquids going through <clears throat> your, your system. Um, <laughs> it's, it's odd though. In the beginning, obviously, like your digestive system fought, like lags behind by a day or two, mm. right? So it takes a little while for you to get to that point where the liquid in your body starts to play out. But I will say, there were times where I would stand up, and since it's all liquid, it would just. <laughs> I, every time I got up, my Rush body had a different feeling. Body. I was like, ooh, it's one of those moments again. Yeah. But, but. overall, I will definitely do it again. Um, I think uh, if you're trying this for the first time, it's probably a good idea to kind of ease into it. Maybe like three days before the cleanse, just uh, try to probably control your portions and eat less meals. Maybe it's going to be helpful. The other interesting thing is that the day after the, the cleanse finished, and we were so excited for our first meal for breakfast, uh, but um, also I didn't feel like I 
even wanted to eat like I, I think when we went to the restaurant I barely ate half of my order I think that I didn't have a big appetite I didn't eat that much and even throughout the day I was just snacking on uh, orange or the little mandarins yeah mandarins I was the I was kind of just snacking on mandarins for, for the majority of the day and I didn't feel the need to eat, which was interesting. I will say you didn't get your freshly squeezed orange juice, orange juice for breakfast anymore. all the time. <laughs> it's funny because that's what I get all of the time when I go out for breakfast. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it was it was really interesting. I will do it again for sure. I hear from a lot of people who've done it in the past that you could maintain whatever weight that you lost for two to three weeks. Obviously, it depends on uh, what you're eating and your physical activity, but I think this is a good way to hit reset and then just adopt better and healthier habits. Sure. Now, I will say also that we both track our weight with an app that we have, which we can Renfo. throw out there. Yeah, it's a Renfo app. And it tracks a couple of metrics ranging from weight, BMI, uh, types of fat that it recognizes in your body, all the way up to like uh, some other sort of like skeletal muscle and things. Mm -hmm. And we did use that and we saw water stuff trend up and we saw good things sure. go up and bad things go down over the course of this diet and that was that was reassuring so. absolutely so it's definitely uh, nice to see that there are some changes that are happening in your body thanks to to, to this cleanse so I, I do recommend it i guess and i will definitely try it one more time sure no I'm, I'm in the same boat i thought that was perfectly fine and i felt good doing it and i also felt good looking toward to the end <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel this is Habiba. I'm Alex. And we are Trekking Pals. Pals.